Second scrimmage uh, went really good. A lot of really good things out there today. Offense started fast, uh, had a lot of explosive plays early, uh, got up on the defense. Uh, but defense responded back, you know, uh, really, really did a good job towards the second half of the scrimmage, created turnovers, got momentum, rallied back really well. Um, so things we got to clean up. I mean, offensively, we started fast, but we got to finish strong. We got to sustain. In defense, we got to not let offense get going quickly. We can't give up the big plays on critical downs. That was probably the our issue defensively early. Um, but a lot of good plays, a lot of good playmakers. Got to see a lot out there today. Um, so I was really, really happy with it. With that said, questions. Hey, Coach. Uh, Jared with the Daily News. I think it was Wednesday, Piggy entered the transfer portal, but then Thursday looked like he was still out there practicing with you guys. I guess what's his um, you know, situation or status right now? Yeah, I met with Piggy, um, and I do this with a couple guys. You know, Piggy's been a, a very uh, loyal, strong quarterback for us, and I always say I got to do the right thing by the players, and, and I talk about being open and honest and, and having communication. He and I met. Um, it was about halfway through spring. Uh, he, you know, wanted to test the portal to see is there an opportunity out there. Um, at the same time, though, you know, he has a home here. You know, he's he's done a lot for us. Uh, he's a valued member of our football team. I told him uh, if he doesn't find what he's looking for, um, he's loved and here, and hopefully uh, he finishes his career out here. But um, my job as head coach is to make sure everybody. Uh, has an opportunity to find what they want. And uh, you've heard me talk about the portal before. So he's a, he's a prime example of, of I have to do the right thing uh, by the player and he's handling it the right way. So we'll, we'll see, you know, he, he, he may find what he's looking for. He might not, but he's a hill topper. And if he wants to finish his career here, he'll have a home here. Uh, Coach, how have you seen just uh, with the uh, – some of the players talked about getting adjusted to the tempo of the offense. How have you seen kind of them getting up to – how have you seen them kind of uh, – I'm lost for words here, just get better with that tempo yeah. as, the, as the offense has progressed? Well, uh, really good. You know, I, I, early on it was a lot for them. Um, I, did, I do think the winter workouts helped them a lot. But, you know, now we got, I would say, close to almost all the offense. About 95% of the offense is in. Um, every day they're getting better and better with the speed of the tempo. I do, I do think, you know, Bailey is, is still a couple steps ahead of them as far as, you know, I can see the ball coming out of his hands. I can see what he's thinking. You know, the receiver hasn't gotten his head around quick enough yet. You know, those are things that take a little bit of time, probably two or three times that happened today that could have been big plays for us. Uh, but that's good. You know, he's, He's doing his thing, trying to train the guys to be on the same page with him, and and that's why you practice. But we're getting a, we're getting a lot closer with the, with the timing and everybody being on the same page. You know, kind of going back with with Piggy and Bailey. I know you said before it's an open competition, and you weren't sure when you were going to really name a starter. Kind of dependent on everything. Um, you know, with Piggy maybe looking for a new home. Does that mean? Someone else, I know Bailey's kind of been the front runner since he came in. Um, is, is Bailey the starter or is it still up for grabs? Or I guess what's the situation? Yeah, I'm not ready to name a starter. Uh, there's no reason to. Uh, obviously, Bailey is the front runner currently. Um, you know, we're still in our recruiting cycle right now. Um, so, you know, like I said before, I make no bones about it. I'm always looking for another good quarterback that can come in and compete. So, I won't name a starter until uh, we get into fall camp. If that's early in fall camp, if that's middle of fall camp, um, you know, I want everybody to be, have an opportunity to compete in spring. I want us to get through that recruiting cycle, and then we'll make a final decision on who's going to be the guy to run out there in the opener for us. Coach, do you think having Bailey and then a couple of other guys from Houston Baptist familiar with that offense has maybe helped just your offense as a whole kind of get more up to speed a little bit quicker this spring? Uh, yeah, I, I do. But, you know, I, it's good and bad. Uh, both Stearns brothers had some some nicks, so they've been out for some practices. So it's given our, uh, some other guys an opportunity to get on the same page with, with the quarterback. Um, and I think that's a good thing because those guys know the offense. They know the system. 
I do think it is, has helped us in the long run. I hate that they've missed a couple of practices. They both should be back next week. Um, but it, it's been good to, to allow those other guys to try to get on the same page. But when you, when they're out there, when it's particularly, you know, both Stearns, uh, you can tell they, they're on the same page with, with Bailey. And, uh, but we got, I tell you what, we, we got a good competition at receiver. We're rolling a lot of guys in there. I, I love what we're doing with the receiver position as, as fast as we're going and as many plays that we're trying to run you're going to have to roll wide out. So I think we're getting some good training right now uh, with, with some of the injuries that we've had. It's allowed other guys to step up. You know, we talked to Coach Hamby yesterday, um, and he talked about some of those, um, you know, guys stepping up into roles. Obviously, you have Cole and Mason back, starters from last year. But he talked a lot about the versatility of some of these other guys to, you know, play multiple positions along that line. I guess, how have you seen that position group just come along this spring? I really think they've been very solid. I really like what they're doing with the pass protection piece. Um, they're doing a nice job of giving the quarterbacks a good pocket. Um, I still think we've been able to uh, maintain our run game. You know, I, I think that's extremely important that we establish a solid run game. Um, you know, and, and, and when I say that, it doesn't mean, hey, you're, you got to go out there and have an explosive run every time you hand the ball. You just got to keep the chains moving and have positive yards. and. I really do feel like they're doing a doing a really good job. There. There's not a lot of missed assignments. There's not a lot of defeats happening out there, which is good to see because we got a couple good D linemen that they got to go against every day. And D'Angelo Malone and Juwan Jones and, and those guys, you, Ricky Barber and uh, Jeremy Darvin, Darius Ship. You know those guys are are, are good players, and uh, so our offensive line has really done a nice job uh, all spring for us. Coach, you mentioned the Stern brothers being a little bit banged up. How is your team doing health-wise overall? About about what you think in spring. You know, we do have a couple injuries. Um, you know, we got a couple guys that, that, that got knee. You know, Clay Davis got a knee the other day. We're going to have to evaluate that, see how that goes. You know, Clay was trying to come back um, from a knee injury last year. Uh, had, a, had a knee again, so we'll, we'll have to see where that goes. Uh, Young player Des Roberson had a knee. Um, we'll have to evaluate that. Um, those are the two major concerns right now. Other than that, it's just your normal nicks and bruises, you know, your hamstrings, your hip flexors, things that you can come back a week or two from. You know, one guy that um, missed some of last year after, you know, starting to come on strong is Dalvin Smith, you know, local kid. Um, I guess, how have you seen his recovery go and how do you see him working into this um, new offense? Well, I, I really like what I'm seeing out there. Dalvin's a very, very young, explosive player. I mean, when he's out there playing, he plays fast. Uh, he has big playability. Uh, it was unfortunate that he got hurt early in the season last year, uh, but he really fits well in the, in the offensive scheme that we're doing now. Uh, I really think he's thriving in it. And, uh, you know, knock on wood, hopefully he stays healthy. But I, I'm hoping he has a big year for us this year. I could see him being a big part of this offense. Uh, Coach, going over to the defense, where have you seen your defense kind of make some bigger strides this week? Well, I think they've done a – you know, I talked about up to today, they've done a really nice job of limiting the big play. You know, they've been making the offense go the distance. Um, haven't had a lot of busted assignments. Now, early in the scrimmage today, though, we had some busted coverages. You know, we got behind the, the secondary. You know, that was a little disappointing. But they, they bounced right back. They got it fixed. Uh, that's why they call you coach. You know, they went over there, and the coaches got it fixed. And that was good to see. Um, but I, I do think, you know, we need our defense to be just as strong as we've been here uh, for the past two years that I've been the head football coach. You know, I've talked to Coach Crum, and, and I don't mind talking about it. I told him, I said, Coach Crum, we've been around the top 25 defense for two years. Love to do it again. But the fact of the matter is the style of play that we're about to play offensively, the number of snaps that we're about to play, it's going to put a lot of stress on our defense. And But I think there are defense that embraces that. You know, they understand the situational football that they're about to be in. Uh, we just got to play solid defense. and and. You know, when you get to the fourth quarter, you know, they come up with a big stop to help win the game. And 
that's really the mindset we got to look at. The past two years I've been here, we were a little more ball control offense, less plays, really fit well with playing really good defense. And, and not to say that the defense needed our help offensively, but it, it helps when you when you have a little more ball control offense defensively. That's not going to be the case. You know, we're going to be going fast and it's going to put a lot of stress on them. But I'd expect nothing less out of Coach Crum. He said, Coach, we're trying to, we're trying to be just as good as we've always been. So that, that's not an excuse. But reality is they just got to stay solid and, and give us a chance to win the game. Were you out at Pro Day yesterday? I was, Around. yeah. Yes, uh, what, what was it like, you know, seeing those guys, not just from this past year's team, but, you know, some of those other guys, Ty Lucky, uh, out there getting a shot, working out some? I wish they were still with us. I'd love to, <laughs> I'd love to see them. I mean, I'd love to walk out on that field with all those men that were getting ready, you know, doing pro day yesterday. A uh, lot of good looking bodies. I thought they tested really well, to be honest with you. Uh, guys have been working hard. Good to see Lucky out there. He, he looked good. And, Really, all the guys did a really, really good job. And uh, Key looked really, really good, uh, you know, and I could go on and on, but I felt like all those seniors that played for us last year and the year before, uh, you could tell how hard they've been training and uh, had done a really, really nice job. The basketball player looked good. He did it. He did a really good job. He's uh, I think he may have a shot. So uh, he might have found his calling. You, you never know. I wanted to ask you about that. You were here in 2015 when George Fant made the transition, right? I guess, what was that like? And do you see, I guess, how do you, you compare him at that time to, you know, what you saw out there yesterday with Carson? I'll be honest with you, very similar. I, uh, you know, I, I don't know him personally. I, I didn't even talk to him yesterday. I just saw him out there. They told me he was going to be out there. Um but I, it made me think about George when I saw him out there and how, how he looked and how he ran and kind of just the natural athleticism that he had. Um, you know, I think the biggest difference with George, and I don't know uh, this young man's scenario, but, you know, really George, the, the scouts wanted him to have a, something to put on film. You know, they were looking for – because they probably thought he was more of a tackle, you know. Um, they, they, they felt like he was really going to be an offense tackle, even though he played tight end for us. And so I think they were hoping he would maybe come and, and, and play with us and, and get some snaps and get some film. And that's what George did. I don't know this young man scenario, uh, but he did look good. He ran around well and hopefully he gets his opportunity at the next level.